just follow the news. I just follow it where it takes me, man. <laughs> what is going on with this Ted Cruz porn story? Well, this all happened a couple nights ago. Around midnight, the Ted Cruz Twitter account clicked that little heart button on a tweet, liking it. That tweet was from an account called Sexual Post, and it featured a porn video. There's a stepdaughter and a stepmother who don't like each other at first, and then they do like each other later. Uh, the point is is that the Cruz camp then initially came out and said, sort of acted like their account had been hacked. Well, later, Ted Cruz talked to reporters and said, no, this looks like it was a staffing issue, is the phrase he used to describe it, said it was an unintentional like by someone on his staff. He was asked again and again if it was him who actually watched this video or not, and he consistently said no, it was not. Uh, is the staffer still have a job? The cruise camp is not saying who it was. They're not saying even if they know who it was. They're simply saying it'll be dealt with internally. And, of course, there's a few options here. It's possible that Ted Cruz was the one watching. It's possible that with a Twitter account like this, you know, lots of people do have access uh, to this you know, to this account, they could like it. Uh, and and you got to remember, with so many staffers on these, these accounts, they're often toggling back and forth between their personal Twitter account and the staff Twitter account, and, and things can get confused. Uh, this is just a really unfortunate situation to have that happen in. Yeah, now to, to explain to people who aren't experts on this, in, including me and Kelly, so you would have to, you, you, I could see someone accidentally hitting the like button but you actually have to go to the Twitter account with the porn site on it to then be able to like it accidentally. Yeah, that's the thing. Is, is If you're on your Twitter feed, things are not popping in there unless you've actually followed that account. Or perhaps if you were on a website and there's an embedded link or something, or maybe somebody even messages you a link to this tweet, and, and then you'd see it. But you actually do have to be looking at this tweet to like it in the first place. So it's clear that somebody, uh, if they weren't watching the video itself, at least were looking at the, the, the tweet that featured the video, and then that somebody clicked the like button, and it was... Uh, even Ted Cruz as a member of that staff. Did I see where the actress said something about this? Well, the actress, uh, you know, the, obviously the big winners in this is anyone who is connected to this video, which was, you know, toiling in obscurity. Uh, and now is Pornhub, a big uh, online porn vendor, says that it's become the most viewed porn video of all time. At least uh, it's, it's raced to the top of the charts, I guess. The actress involved in it says that she woke up to this sort of shocked like everyone else. Of all things, she's recovering from Hurricane Irma. She lives in Florida right now. It reminds us that we've probably got, you know, better things to, to talk about in our days. But. Uh, she's certainly a winner in all this, and, and the group Pornhub certainly is too. It was interesting to see yesterday in the ABC newsroom, a bunch of people got the same press release from Pornhub, and then all had to uh, explain why they were getting these press releases in the first place. Uh, by the way, there is nothing more important to be talking about than this, Brett Melky. <laughs> Lastly, I, I, have an, uh, I have a small, uh, there's no way to prove this, but if this would have happened during the campaign, this would have helped Ted Cruz. He basically said as much yesterday. He said that he woke up to this, which that you know, so to speak. unclear if he was up late at night the, the way somebody, at least somebody on the staff was. But he says he woke up to this and that he wished something this sort of uh, high profile had happened during the campaign because it was all about notoriety during 2016. And, and you know. This is probably done for now because Ted Cruz has not really made litigating sex a, a huge part of his life as a senator. But we do know that he has watched porn at least once, and that was because, as a Supreme Court clerk, the entire panel of judges decided to watch some of the material it was ruling on, and he was there in that room. So we got at least one documented case. Well, Brad Melke, you really got to the end of this story, didn't you? <laughs> Brad, Researching all day. Have a good week, Brad. Thanks. Later, guys. All right. There you go.